It killed 43 people and laid bare the decrepit state of Italy's infrastructure. An overpass collapsed, sending a subway train plunging into traffic below. Although failures are rare, many other bridges built in the middle of the 20th century are due for repair or replacement. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration is piloting digital twin technology to help in this process. Well, you know, we have in Norway today in the national road system about 5,800 bridges. You have a prediction of the residual life of the bridge and inspection every five years. But there is a lot of issues that you don't detect with this inspection, like the behavior or the integrity dynamic of the road. And these sensors, they are able to detect movements and they are able to detect how different loads influence the uh, bridges, which is not possible to detect during normal, regular inspections. We install IoT sensors to monitor the global behavior of the bridge. We take the sensor data and collect them and then broadcast them directly into the SAP cloud solution. If bridge dynamics then deviate from the preset thresholds, the system issues alerts. On April 7th, such alerts were issued from Norway's Stavo Bridge. The NPRA was able to immediately divert traffic from the affected area and begin work on a replacement. This instrumentation has been very important. And I don't want to think about if we didn't have this instrumentation on this bridge. And it made us able to detect and understand and react when, uh, when there was a critical uh, situation. So uh, we have been very lucky, if I can say lucky, that we have this instrumentation Replacement of bridges isn't just a Norwegian issue. In Germany, over 12% of the country's bridges are in bad shape. And in the US, the number is higher than one-third. The NPRA is hoping that real-time monitoring of critical infrastructure will not only increase safety, but also help limit costs. We know that the cost for a maintenance action is, is much higher if you have an emergency. You are not able to plan for it. Uh, the suppliers, they can feel your, uh, uh, that you are stressed and the price doubles. I mean, everyone knows that it's uh, most cost effective to be preventive, to be able to use money upfront before you have an event like this. And we are driving for this, not only within the bridges, but for the tunnels, for the road system itself. Be proactive, predictive, and rely on knowledge and data in the people, in the sensor systems, in the software system.